Hello students, the first chapter of class 9 in biology, you know that very well, the fundamental unit of life. Yes, the fundamental unit of life means, you know that very well, the life exists in both plant and animals. Regarding this concept, the life exists in both plant and animals, but the starting of their life, which is fully depend on their unit and their unit is named as cell. The cell is the basic unit of their life and you can imagine when you have you prepare a house. In preparation of a house you use a brick and the segments of bricks or the number of bricks you are used in the preparation of a wall. Yes, the here the bricks function as a unit. Likewise this, our body is also performed by this unit and their unit is named is cell. No confusion at all? Yes. The cell is the structural and functional unit of life. How? It's a question. You have previous concept about in class 8 also. You already studied this chapter in class 8. Here, only I elaborate all the structural part of the cell. The cell consists two components. One is cell organelles, another is the cell inclusion. You have concept about the cell organelles and the cell inclusion in class 8, previous class. The cell present in both plant and animal. But very typical difference in the structure of plant cell and the animal cell. You have concept about the difference or the comparison between plant cell and animal cell, both. The plant cell consists cell wall while animal cell without cell wall. A very important question always we ask from your chapter or the beginning of chapter. In a state of cell wall in the animal cell, what will present? It's a very important question. I just telling you something, the concept of cell coat. Cell coat is made up by polysaccharides. You have concept about saccharides, the students? Saccharides, yes. The saccharides is also known as sugar. And you know very well, sugar is also known as glucose. Why we say that glucose is sugar? Here, a, a concept behind it. The plant stores food in the form of glucose. And glucose is a type of saccharides. Glucose is monosaccharides. You have question, what is glucose? Then you will reply, glucose is a monosaccharides. The saccharides are also divided in different types. Monosaccharides, monosaccharides disaccharides, trisaccharides and so. Here only I discuss here the formation of cell code. So you understood the formation of cell coat over the surface of animal cell in a state of cell wall and you also have concept about the function of cell wall. Cell wall, the cell wall is a protective layer which always protect the inner parts of the cell or the cellular materials. The cellular materials, you know, have concept about? Yes, the cellular parts also divided in two types, the cell organelles and cell inclusions. So, cell organelles and cell inclusions are fully protected by the cell wall. And the cell wall is dead and which gives rigidity, which gives rigidity to a cell. 
And why we say that the protective layer? Because this wall protect the cellular materials to the microorganism or the microbial infection. Nowadays, presently, you know that very well, the microbial infection presently, currently, yes. What is their in influence all over the infrastructure of our world? You know very well, my dear friend, COVID-19. Very prominent and are always imminent term for till death of your life, the COVID-19. Very famous, very prominent microorganism. Here, the microbial infection, I just, you might have seen the infection of the microbes on our substance, <coughs> on our body, inside our body, outside our body, and so. And now come to the point, the structure of the cell. The first part, cell wall. Beneath the cell wall, plasma membrane or the delicate structure of the plasma membrane present inside the cell wall. And the plasma membrane is also formed by the lipoprotein, lipid bilayer and the protein also present. And dear student, you have also cons consist in your mind and always remind it, there are two types. One protein is situated in between the lipids and the protein is situated inside this plasma membrane in the globular form. And this globular form of the protein is also known as the integrated protein. Dear student, integrated protein means the, the plasma membrane is a selective permeable membrane. You have concept about selective permeable membrane? Yes. Selective permeable membrane is also known as the semi-permeable membrane. You know very well, the membrane are of three types. Per permeable, semi-permeable, impermeable. No confusion? Permeable membrane means which fully allow the material across them from one side to another side. Fully, their exit or their entry is equal balance. Suppose that from one pore to another pore, 10 molecules just go from one side to another side. Here is, you always can see the entry or the exit of molecules remain the same. In semi-permeable, which is also known as the selective permeable, which only allow the 50% parts of the solution from across from one side to another side. Impermeable means those membranes which do not allow from across the materials from one side to another side. No crossing, no entry, no exit. Here, the function of plasma membrane is helps in entry or exit of the materials. You have concept cell theory. Cell theory given by the Rudolf Virchow. I want to introduce that a technical term inside the cytology. You know very well cytology. The study of cell, the branch of biology which deals about cell is known as cytology. And cytologist, a person who specializes in knowledge about cell is called as cytologist. Here, inside the cytology, we study about the structure and function of the cell. Your chapter is related to this concept. A very technical term behind is protoplasm. In earlier, protoplasm is the physical basis of life. So you can say that the protoplasm is the beginning of this topic. 
protoplasm is the physical basis of life which is given by the J. E. Perkin J. Here, three experimental demonstration in your NCERT book already given. You will study step by step one, two, and three demonstration for regarding the uh, permeable, semi-permeable, impermeable membrane. And now, cell wall. Cell wall is made up by cellulose. And you know that cellular present in plant cell only. Cellulose always digest by the ruminants, which cannot be digest by the man. Always keep in your mind. Why? I want to just give the concept for the digestion of the cellulose only in ruminants. Very interesting thing. The ruminants consist of large intestine and the part of large intestine is cecum and cecum is responsible for the digestion of cellular why that's why you know that a special type of bacteria methanogen methanogen bacteria present inside the cecum of the ruminants which helps in the digestion of the cellulose we cannot digest them we are man and our cecum does not consist such type of bacteria named as methanogen bacteria which is only present in ruminants. They are able to digest them. And this methanogen bacteria which is also present in the cow dung and which is used in the formation of the biogas. Here, <coughs> cell organelles. Cell organelles, cell consist a membrane bound structure. A student, there are two types of structure. One is membrane structure, another is the non membranous structure. A very typical the definition of the cell organelles. Those structure in the cytoplasm which is membranous or you can say the membranous structure inside the cytoplasm is known as cell organelles. There are so many cell organelles inside the cytoplasm. First, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, Golgi body, mitochondria, and here the cell inclusion. Cell inclusion also consists nucleus because the nucleus consists the fluid content. Inclusion means fluid or the liquid. The liquid part inside the structure of the body inside the cytoplasm they are called as cell inclusion. The nucleus is contradictory. Nucleus consists nucleoplasm and the nucleoplasm is a liquid or the fluid or fluid is also termed as inclusion. So due to this reason nucleus considering both cell organelles as well as cell inclusion.